If you believe, you can't create an animated video, using free Canva, today I'm going to show you exactly how, and it's completely free. Let's get started. For today's video, I'm going to try a different approach, I'm using a free account, and want to create a video about an animal story, so, the first thing I can do instead of using ChatGPT is to select the doc option. On the home page, I simply enter the idea I have in mind and click the generate button. The structure of the idea is as follows. First I define the characters so the model knows who is in the story. Then I'll break down my story structure into sections, beginning, middle, end. For each section I'll also include a visual description that covers the mood, atmosphere, the character's look, and the image style. And then I request, can you please write the full story script, based on the plot and characters above, and hit generate. It provided us with the narration, and the image generation prompts, for each scene, which is excellent. Now, I'll open up a new window in Canva. So, I'll go to video, and choose landscape mode. First, I'll create seven pages, because we have seven scenes, you can request more scenes in the prompt. In the toolbar, select Magic Media, for free accounts, it gives you a certain number of credits per month, which is enough to create five to ten scenes, or even more, when it runs out, you can register with other accounts, and earn credits. Now, I'll go back to the previous window, copy the image prompt, for the first scene, and paste it into Magic Media. I select the aspect ratio as landscape, and the image style is in the prompt itself, and I'll hit generate, remember that the prompt shouldn't be too long, you can enter up to a certain number of words. In Magic Media, ok, it created 4 images, and you can choose whichever you like, but from my experience, it doesn't make much of a difference. The same goes for the rest of the scenes, if the image doesn't match, the story and scenes, go back, and add details to your prompt, because it's possible. For example, sometimes change the character, color, or add characters yourself, or change the environment, you just need to mention it in the prompt, that's it friendly, reminder subscribe, like, and ring that bell. It really helps me out, and I appreciate your support, now, I'm going to put the last scene, as the first scene. Because of the story narration, but for now, I'm filling the pages with images, I'm going to give each image an animate, to make the scene and story more impressive. Click on image, and go to animate, I choose the photo zoom animation, because I think it's more appropriate, and I like it more, I apply the same animation to all images, you can choose, whichever one you want. It's completely up to your taste. Ok, to make it more dreamy and impressive, go to the elements, and look for sparkling stars, I choose the animated one, I apply it to all pages. Next I'll go to the audio for the narration of the story, which I use from the site DuckUp, it's not free, but it gives you enough credit to create our narration, I put links to this and other free sites in the description. So, you can use them, ok, I'm on the site now and from the more voices section, choose the voice you like, you can also specify gender and age. Copy the narration text for each scene and paste it on the site. Then, hit generate click export and download as mp3, produce the narration for the next scene, and following scenes, using the same method. After creating the voices, I'll return to Canva, and upload them. My narration is 22 seconds, so, I'm increasing the first scene's duration. Adjust the duration of each layer to match the narration. I'll move the last scene to the story start, because of the narration additionally apply the match. And move transition between all layers. I'll also add the music box song, 
I've download from YouTube library, because these sounds is copyright free. This is the final result. In a quaint little cottage nestled at the edge of a lush forest, lived Milo the mouse. With his tiny red scarf and curious eyes, Milo loved to explore. But he wasn't alone in this cozy home. Coco the cat, with her elegant white fur and playful nature, also lived here. Although they were different, they shared a common curiosity about the world around them. One rainy afternoon, the pitter-patter of raindrops created a soothing melody outside the cottage window. Milo spotted a large slice of cheese on the kitchen table, left there by Grandma Dottie, who loved to sprinkle surprises around the house. Milo's heart thumped as he looked at Coco. To his surprise, Coco didn't want to catch him. She wanted to share the cheese in a friendship. As days turned into weeks, Milo and Coco's friendship grew. They discovered the joy of sharing moments together. Even the most energetic days had to end, and Milo and Coco cherished their quiet moments too. Milo and Coco had found something truly special, friendship. It didn't matter that they were different, their bond was strong and unique. Thank you for watching, like, share, and subscribe my channel.